The XFL is back, baby! But does anyone really care? Let's find out. The XFL, or Extreme Football League, Extreme. is a professional American football league that was launched in 2001 by accused rapist Vince McMahon, who some of you might know as the founder of the WWE. It folded after just one season because of financial loss and low ratings. In 2020, McMahon revived the XFL one more time and then immediately canceled it because of a deadly global pandemic. The league was later bought and revived again by Dwayne The Rock Johnson, who clearly can't take a hint from the universe. The XFL started their second first season this month and they're making a lot of changes to succeed this time around. Marketing is a large part of their new approach. Do I think they'll succeed? Well, I guess stick around to find out. The original XFL failed for a lot of reasons. Other than being named by a seven-year-old monster truck enthusiast, there are three major points of failure I was able to identify. First, poor quality of play. The quality of play in the first season was generally considered to be subpar, which turned off a lot of fans expecting to see high-level professional football. Secondly, there was a lack of star power. Unlike the NFL, the XFL didn't have any star players or big name coaches to draw fans in. Third, the over the top presentation. The XFL's production was more about wrestling style gimmicks and was criticized by many fans and commentators as being too over the top and not serious enough. Who would have guessed serious football fans wouldn't appreciate the gimmicks of a pretend fighting sport? Ultimately, the XFL's massive failure boils down to a single problem, and that problem is the biggest cardinal sin in marketing. They did not know who their target audience is, and so they didn't understand how to address them. The result was a lack of interest from fans, leading to a loss of interest from broadcast partner NBC, leading to cancellation of season two. The XFL reportedly lost $35 million in 2001, with McMahon calling it a colossal failure. The new XFL is different from the original in several ways. For one, the new XFL has taken a more traditional approach to football. While the original XFL tried to differentiate itself from the NFL with over-the-top gimmicks and rule changes, the relaunched XFL has taken a more measured approach. The rule changes are designed to speed up the game and make it more exciting, but they're not as radical as the changes made by the 2001 version of the XFL. For example, in the NFL, after a touchdown is scored, the team has the option to attempt an extra point by kicking or two points by running and passing. In the XFL, they eliminated the extra point kick instead, giving scoring teams the option to run a play from the two yard, five yard, and 10 yard line for one, two, or three points respectively. Meaning teams can score up to nine points on a single touchdown and gameplay doesn't have to slow down for a kick. Another difference between the old and new XFL is the improved quality of play. The new XFL is focused on better coaching, stronger player talent, like former NFL players Landry Jones and Josh Johnson. I mean, I guess an A for effort? The new XFL has placed a strong emphasis on fan engagement. They've had initiatives like allowing fans to vote on rule changes and promoting player personalities that have helped build a sense of community and excitement around the league. Ultimately, the difference between the new XFL and the old is that they seem to be addressing their target audience more directly. So do I think that the 2023 XFL could succeed? Well, I 100% believe that the new XFL at least has a better chance than the original. The new league seems to have learned from its mistakes. They've taken a better approach to differentiating itself from traditional football. And the league's emphasis on improving the quality of play and engaging the fans, as well as the strong financial foundation they've built with that Black Adam money, all these changes bode really well for its chances, as far as I'm concerned. The XFL is building its marketing strategies around engaging fans and growing its base to drive revenue. They focused on engaging them in ways traditional football leagues have not. They've partnered with social media platforms to promote its games, launched a mobile app that allows fans to interact with players and coaches. What kind of play is that, coach? I know football better than you. To enhance the viewing experience, the Extreme Football League Extreme has also embraced streaming services and several broadcast partners, not limiting themselves to just one single partner. They've also secured sponsorships with the likes of Bud Light, DraftKings, and Gatorade. If they're going to challenge the established fan bases and strong brand recognition of the NFL and college football, they'll need to continue to innovate and experiment with new marketing strategies to get their fans interested over the long term. And I think that's where the real challenge is for the XFL. So what would I, a professional marketer, recommend for the XFL if I were marketing for them? Call me. One potential strategy for the XFL could be to focus on niche markets and underserved fan bases. The league could focus on attracting fans who are dissatisfied with the current state of football or who are looking for a more exciting and innovative viewing experience. The XFL could also focus on geographic areas that are underserved by traditional football leagues, like smaller markets or regions with large numbers of college fans. Especially fans of college football teams that suck, like Ohio and Michigan. 
Yeah, I said it. The 2023 XFL season just started, and I'm interested to see how this first season is going to go and whether we're going to get a second season at all. Are the changes they've made enough to get interest that they need? Can they succeed in challenging organizations as big as the NFL? Let's see how it goes. There, now you're an expert. If you like this video and you wanna see more like it, like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell below. Cool, thanks. Extreme.